remember, we're looking at this ratio, right? Now, if the ratio between two things is one, then that basically means the two things are the same size, at least roughly, okay? So, if you've got small angles, if you're dealing with tiny, tiny, thin angles, okay? That means that, for small theta, for example, this tells me that sine theta and theta, the actual values, should be about the same, right? Like, that's what that means, the ratio being one. In exactly the same way, for small theta, again, um, tan theta and theta are also about the same. Okay? Now, this guy down here, cosine is different, right? It's behaving in a different way, but I can still get a small angle behavior um, very easily out of it, namely that cos theta will be roughly, not theta, but one, because that's where the limit is going. Okay? Now, how do I use that? How do I take advantage of that? If you have any question that involves measurement and it has some kind of small theta, like a, a degree or one and a half degrees or something like that, you can approximate your answer using this and you never need to appeal to any trig ratios, okay? Let me give you an example. If you've got a tower that's 15 kilometers away from you and because it's so far away, it doesn't look very high, and you measure an angle of inclination, uh, an angle of elevation, and it's one degree. Actually, sorry, I think the number I chose was 18. You'll see why I'm saying If you know you're 18 kilometers away, like through GPS or something, you measure your angle of elevation, okay? What does this look like? Well, you're really, really far away, like this, okay? Here's that distance that you are away from the tower, okay? This is what I'm trying to work out here. Let's call it h for height, okay? And there is my angle of elevation. Now, remembering that I do tend to like measure things in degrees, but all of this only functions in radians. Like that's how this all was born, okay? So the first thing I need to do is I need to convert that. What's one degree in radians? One divided by 180. It's gonna be, so remembering that pi radians is 180 degrees, I want one degree over here, so I'll divide both by 180. So that gives me pi on 180 radians, okay? Yes, so far so good. Now have a look in this triangle, right? There's a simple connection between h and this distance that we know. This is the unknown, this is the known. It's tan. Tan of this angle, that's pi on 180 radians, should be opposite on adjacent. You agree with that? h on 18 kilometers, okay? But because theta, the angle, is so very small, Tan theta and theta are about the same. Like for small angles, that's what's happening. So therefore, I can substitute this for pi 180, right? And say I'm approximately equal to that. These two, for small theta, are behaving the same way. No evaluation required. So now, all I have to do is multiply through by 18. That gives me pi on 10. That's 0 0.314159. Da, 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 da. Okay. Right. Now hold on a second, what units was I working in? Kilometers. Kilometers. Not the greatest unit for measuring buildings, right? Or towers. So I'm going to convert this to a more suitable unit such as meters. So this is kilometers. So what I've got here is uh, three oh, I've got one. I've got a thousand meters. A thousand meters per kilometer, right? So this is three hundred and fourteen point yeah, let's round off there. Right? In case you think that's ridiculous, building can't be that tall. Well, center point is 305. I'd look it up to be sure. Okay. So you can see here, I can take advantage of these ratios and their limits in this way. Okay. Now, by the way, just let me quickly draw your picture of what this means. Right? Do you remember when we had the circle? And you are comparing sine theta with theta. What that's comparing really is, I'll just quickly finish here. Sine theta is this length here, it's the straight line, right? And theta is the arc length, right? And of course, when theta is very, very small, the chord and the arc are pretty much the same interval, right? Because they get closer and get squeezed closer and closer together. 